Welcome back everyone to another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on Fallen. This is me as you can tell. Let me just... Nah. There we go. The Soul Taker, he's an L86 with grip. Uh, <laughs> I just had an entire thing to discuss today and I completely forgot about it. I have the worst memory on this planet. Um... Oh yes. Anyway, earlier today I uploaded a video. Uh, it was a 26 and 2 gameplay on Sea Town on TDM. Now, I thought that was pretty good. It was close to a fall, so I only died twice, um, and the amount of triple kills gained were pretty sick in that game. But then here I was. Uh, this is a 34 and 7. Another one on Fallen on t Team Deathmatch. So which, you know, if you guys didn't like, oh, he only went plus 24. Well. Here is a plus 30 gameplay, just uh, tickle your fancy, because I don't want to, you know, I need to impress everyone, because I need to be that popular guy. <laughs> um, no, but I am really getting tired of uh, putting up Modern Warfare 3 gameplays, I am not going to lie to you guys, it is very tiresome, I mean, it's just repetitive, it's the same thing, it's me just going around and either TDM, kill, kill confirmed, just wrecking havoc just fucking because and uh you know it's very it's the same shit and it's really i'm really just playing the prestige because if it wasn't for like that's what i think since call of duty yeah because it all start everyone knows it started at call of duty 4 and it's been a godly thing to prestige because it keeps you not bored and you know keep you going in the game because if they never put the prestige option i'm pretty sure this game would be down the tubes it would just be a junk game uh because who would want to play it well yeah who would want to play level 80 until the next call of duty comes out and just have all the stuff when you could just prestige and get all the stuff back um so they do keep it, like, not, it's fun, but not always. <laughs> As everyone knows, Call of Duty has its lumps, its ups and downs. Um, yeah, so, that is all that. Here, I was just running around with L86. I realized a lot of them camped in this building this game. They were just, like, Camp City. I mean, right here, I was surprised I lived, but I got the kill. And I, me and my team working together, I was like, you know, building's clear, you guys can move in, anyone sniping can move in the building, and I see they're trying to rush this again. So I grab that double, and I just cover this, because I know there's going to be more coming, because I ain't rocking no silencer. Um, so it was basically like easy, easy money right there, just to spray down the rest of them. Um, I thought I was just going to get, I don't even know how I acquired the double there. I guess the guy on the left, I didn't see him on the, I was thought I was going for that single with that bread. And here I died, and I was like, you know what? I'm I've been trying this entire game to bring our team back. I was trying my hardest. I was like, literally smack them ball sack to get this team into a higher position on the score, and it wasn't happening. I mean, I was holding this team hard. Um, I was like, you know, I was just trying. My, I was try hard panties, and uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, the video I made about me smashing my controller, it's a really favorite controller of mine, and that's why I haven't been so daily, well I've been daily, but not so um, friendly with the KD gameplays, because I'm using the Afterglow, yet it is an amazing controller, it's a little uncomfortable for me, because like I said in my prior videos, I think I talked about it, I have big hands, and you know, when you're not comfortable with something you have, you're not likely to do good with it. Um, but I've been getting used to it, and I figured out some, you know, some shit to, how, to make it work better, so it's all fine and dandy now. So now I'm going to be posting more of this, not for long. Like I said, this is getting very boring. Yeah, I love Black Ops too, but it's just the same thing. It's just me running around TDM or some game mode, just tearing it up, and I don't <laughs> I love it. I really do because I want to keep you guys entertained. But I'm start. I don't know. I want to. I don't want to think you guys are getting bored with my channel because that's all I do. Um, I haven't been. It's been like nine hours, and uh, the prior video I made this morning was, which was a 26 and two, <clears throat> got no views so far. 
Which I'm not surprised. I'm not asking. You no, know, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm rushing it. Um, I'm not a big channel. I'm probably super quadrupular, duply, or nipply, fuckily. Small channel. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. But here, acquire another. They just kept trying to get in the buildings. Yeah, uh, this entire game. Each build, uh, this one and the other one we were uh, wrecking, and then the, the one over here, <laughs> one to the north of the map. I don't know, I don't have any special names for the parts of the map. You know, I really don't give a fuck about what's what's called. You know, because usually if there's someone camping, I'll be like, oh, there's someone in that big sniper building, and someone will know on my team what I'm talking about because, you know, they either saw them or got killed by them too. So. I never really figured on uh, saying special names for the whole uh, parts of the map. Like, oh, there's the the uh, the power area. Yeah, that's a that's a good spot they're capping in. Like, I don't, I never understand. I just run. I don't even run routes. I don't understand what people mean by running routes. I mean, oh, well, if you flank this way, flank that way, you'll get like a fucking multi kill every game. And I'm like, yeah, suck my dick. That ain't true motherfucker <laughs> you know it's the easiest route I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret just run the edges of the map there is no sprint specially here sprint specially there run the edges of the map and you'll always flank them because why because everyone's running middle not many people think the few people that do to think the flank on the other team around on the other side to get in front of you are the ones that are going to be your challenge now, clearly, if you're the better player or more accurate player or whatever the case may be, you will win that fight. And then keep on going and taking out all the people that are dumb enough to run in the middle of the map. Now, everyone that watches this video is going to be now going to go try hard on <laughs> Modern Warfare 3. Whatever. It's a little tip to help you guys. Um, I always run the edges of the map, as you can see. I don't ever run um, through the middle. Maybe once in a good moon. Like... If there's, like, a bunch of enemies grouped up, like, they're having a big sausage fest, I will go, if it's in the middle of the map, and, like, throw nades and flashes and maybe kill one or two. Uh, that is the goal there. But, uh, yeah, this whole time, you can see we were losing, and uh, I'm going to save the end for a little surprise for you guys. <laughs> um, someone told me they buffed up the LMGs. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, you know, I feel like, uh, the, I use the LA6 a lot and the MK46, and it seems like they do the same as they always have since I've had the game. Um, now I've had it for a while, I'm about 7th procedure. I've had it way before that, I would have been a higher procedure if I didn't take a break from this game. I literally took like a month long break when I hit my second prestige, just playing Skyrim and all that, so. This was way before I started YouTube, started making YouTube videos, this was a little while before that. But, uh, game to tie now, as you can tell, it is a very, oops, sorry, close game, very close, but, um, yeah, I was just scavenging for kills, I mean, anything that was killable, I was going for it, but I saw two guys here, I thought I was going to get that double, and we lost, yes, now the point of me putting up this is because I went amazing KD-wise, and a random mate did not kill me, but it killed this dude, um, the reason for me putting this up is because it's a thing that says not everyone wins. Um, that's true as the day is long. Not everybody wins. Um, but you can do an amazing KD. As you can tell by the scoreboard, I was 34 and 7 with two death, uh, two assists. Um, and I held that whole team up. And we almost won. We came close. Uh, my team supported as much as they could. But, eh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and listening to me ramble. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next video.